DS18, EXL 3000.1, EXL SQ 3000.1. Uh, this amp I'm going to be using, again, all these products right here are going to be used for the Supreme Patty build. Um, this I'm going to be using for the four subwoofers I'm going to be doing in the center console. It's a matching amp to the mids amps that we're using, which I really like because I want to feature and show off these amps. So I like that they were all very uh, simple design and they all match. So I went with this amp again for the subwoofers. I'm going to unbox this for you guys. As usual, you got the standard uh, manual. This does come with a, uh, a base knob. Actually, the base knob does have a clip indicator on it, so that is pretty nice. Got the comes with mounting screws to mount the uh, base knob and the amp with some Allen keys to put in the speaker wires and stuff. Now I'm not going to go getting into like taking the back of the amp off to show you guys the the guts of the amp or anything like that. Um, they have plenty of pictures online to show them off, so it's not like they're hiding them or it's a secret. When I did look, the components looked really nice. I urge you guys to go check out my website. I have multiple pictures of the insides. Um, you'll get to see the amp on the inside. Definitely looks like a high quality build. Has a lot of uh, good parts in it and it should be awesome. So again, I'm gonna do it to him again with the plastic mounting feet, but this is a heavy, this is a pretty heavy amp. I would say this is double double the weight of the 1200.2, super heavy amp. I don't, I don't really like the idea of mounting it on plastic feet. Uh, I'll probably have to figure out some sort of some sort of something to to prevent any sort of failure on that uh, on that end because this is a heavy amp in a loud build everything's gonna shake I don't care how solid you build it it is gonna have some vibration it's gonna shake a little bit um, you're gonna have some flex if it's a loud build you're gonna have flex so this build is definitely gonna be a loud build we're doing so I'm gonna make sure make a really nice strong amp rack for these things um, again solid on these uh, inputs here with the set screws that's always super nice makes everything uh, makes it for a clean install easy you don't have to get any extra lugs or anything like that plus it's a really nice way to connect it there's no extra connection it's just wire into amp instead of like a spade terminal or a lug or something like that got the heavy duty RCA's as the other SQ EXL models they have uh, this has three fans on the back small fans which is actually really cool um, Hopefully that's gonna help cool this thing, but that does kind of give me a heads up that this amp probably gets pretty hot. Uh, I'm, I'm a hundred, almost, I guess 99% sure that this is a class D amp, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, definitely gonna put fans on everything regardless, but that's about it for this amp, guys. Um, I'm gonna give this a solid seven out of 10. Again, really just the mounting feet, but I do really like the fact that the base now comes with a clip indicator. That's super cool. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how accurate that is. I'll compare it to the uh, DD1 and the CC1. Make sure everything is accurate as far as clipping indicator goes. Uh, I'll share the results, results on that in further videos on the Supreme Patty Bill. But as for that, that's all for this video. I'll get back at you guys with more uh, unboxing videos. Make sure to like this video. And for any of your DS18 needs, check out my website, www.customloads.com. Um, also, I got a ton of other gear on there, custom enclosures as well. Make sure you check it out. And while you're there, pick up one of these DS18 EXL SQ3000.1s from me.